Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 15 of the Adobe Illustrator tutorial series. So today we're going to look at how to use gradients inside of Illustrator. So what we can do is, let me just shift and drag so that I have a perfect sphere over here. So perfect circle over here. And now I'm going to add ingredients to this. So you know that um, by previous lessons, you can use gradient by clicking on this icon right here. So this is only one type of a gradient. So if I want to change the color of the gradient, now I'm, I have access to gradient tool. And over here, right now, the gradient is white and black. So if I were to double click on the black section, then what I can see is just the black section over here. But if I were to change this to color, you can see that I can change it to different colors. So this is how you can choose gradients uh, inside of options. So if you, if you change this to color again, if you go back to color, you have option to select different color sets over here. And you can also manually add in the values to get the color you want. So this is how you add only one color. But if you want to add multiple color, you can just click over here, just like this. And then I can double click on this section to choose a different color in center. And I can also move this tool over here. So you have this small diamond like thingy to actually change the uh, contrast between the color change. All right. And then you can also change the angle of the shape. So you can change the angle of the gradient just like that. Or you can click over here and then just use the mouse scroll to actually change the angle of the color just like this. And if you want to manually change the size of the gradient and everything interactively, then you can actually access uh, the gradient tool over here and you can actually resize this as you can see this. So you can resize the size of the gradient, you can change the position of the gradient and you can even rotate this out. So you can, what you can do is you can simply rotate out the gradient just like this to get the gradient that you want. So this is how you can add in gradients onto the shapes. But this is only linear gradient. So there's a uh, linear over here. The other one is radial gradient, which is uh, much more better for shapes like this. So if you want to create ball signs like this, then this actually gives a sign effect, like a 3D effect to your gradient. So you can also add in uh, stroke gradients inside of Illustrator. So just select the stroke, do the same for the stroke and increase the size of the stroke. And you can see that uh, actually flat color is being applied at the moment, but there's a bit of gradient over here as well. So instead of radial, I'm going to use real linear gradient over here and you can immediately see the difference. So if you want to create buttons, 3D buttons as such, then you can use this type of gradients. So I can control and paste it, control C and control V to create multiple versions of this. Similarly, you can create a very 3D looking graphics right out of uh, Illustrator. And this is used mostly to create buttons for apps, games, uh, even websites. So uh, this is how you use gradients inside of Adobe Illustrator. Uh, and the other thing that I want to add is the um, opacity option inside of Illustrator as well. So if I were to see this, this is a very, very opaque right now. But if I were to bring down the opacity of this particular color, let me just bring it down to zero. Then what it does is right now I'm on this gradient right here. So let me just select the full gradient and then select that out. So let me just select this and then let me go to the gradient option right here. And then over here, let me just select the opacity down to zero. And you can see that that part actually now becomes transparent. So you can see that you can also change the transparency of the gradient over here. Just increase the size. I can also decrease the size uh, of the gradient over here. So I can just click over here and decrease the size of the gradient over here and even change the location of the gradient right here. So that's how we can actually have control over the gradients inside of shapes in Adobe Illustrator. So this is how it works. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.